Hey guys, it's me Zane and today we're gonna talk about my annual millibug infestation. Okay, this is not the best topic I can imagine for a video because, well, it's a bad topic for me because, you know, I have succulents and I have a climate which just won't allow me to keep my succulents, my not first harvest succulents outside all year long, so there is a time in the year when I have to bring them inside. Okay, I'm not bringing them inside, I'm bringing them in between a two pane window, so because there is the perfect temperature there for them in the winter time, because the temperature are, temperatures there are lower, they are around above five degrees celsius and they need that temperature so this is what my second hand collection is experiencing every year because they are not allowed to like stay outside and they go back outside when the temperatures are again in that range when they feeling when they are feeling good so there is no more frost and the temperatures are above like five degrees celsius they can survive lower than that in you know, some rare cases in some nights and stuff like that but whatever this is not our topic today so the mealybugs are like always always present on my second like a few of them pop up and I treat them and that's that but they always come well they always pop up mostly I think this is because of that layer of dried leaves which I'm really just starting to remove like every time I see that dried leaves on the second end. there is the dried leaf layer because as the leaves are aging the dried leaves layer is just there so if I don't remove that regularly it's gonna be there and that's the perfect like home that's the perfect luxurious dream home for sac uh, for not seconds for millibugs and they love it and they can perfectly hide there and if they are hiding there i don't see them and well yeah millibug infestation done so millibugs are always always present on my in my collection when i bring them inside because i think when they are outside and all of this rain and sunshine and stuff is happening they are washed off and stuff like that and also there are some predators which eat them on my second but when they go back inside and when I'm having in a closed environment with not natural forces acting on them regularly and that's why I have always and that's why I call it an annual mealybug infestation and this is well, this is the whole picture of my annual millibug infestation. This, so this is the reason why is it happening. So right now, in this year, I try to care better for my succulents. And when I bringing them back, I started to I started to like uh, repot them into these clay pot thingies. Uh, all of them so it's gonna be like a uniform for them well I just didn't want to buy like so many trays and, and ruin the look and with trays and stuff like that and I wanted to well, do a better look for them with trays so what I'm using here with my succulents as trays because in these previous years I wasn't, I wasn't using trays and it was bad but I did not have so many trays so right now I'm using these jar lids the white ones like these and for the smaller pots I'm using smaller dry lids you will see because I will show you succulents with those so I'm just keeping my succulents like this in the winter time in between the two pane windows and I think I will keep them with these uh, thingies in the summer times as well because in the summer time they just can I just can water them and no matter where they flow, where the water flows out from the pot. And also, it's just only the loose, but regarding the millibug infestation, I made some things preventing the millibugs. When I brought them back, I removed a lot of dead and dried leaves from the bottom, from this layer. As you can see on this succulent right now, there are like no dried leaves at the bottom because I removed them when I was bringing them inside, but I can already, well, see there are a few dead leaves which okay they are not dead but they are drying already up they are getting more and more dehydrated they are losing their color so they will be dead leaves soon so yeah the perfect luxurious dream home for millibucks is being created constantly with my succulents and well that's not a great thing i tried to remove as many dead leaves i could and stuff like that and right now my millibag infestation millibag annual millibag infestation is well let's say it's more under control because there is no hiding place for them so there is not 
that huge infestation of mealybugs right now in this year like in previous years. That's a great thing and there is one more thing about this mealybug infestation, how to prevent and how to act like in the moment you notice them and that's what I well I am doing right now or I, I actually have to well purchase a spray bottle for it but that's what I'm gonna do because right now I don't have enough spray bottles but what I will do when I finally purchase a tiny spray bottle from eBay I used to purchase these like this small tiny spray bottles so it's really cheap it's like 50 cents or something like that I purchased one there for my hydrogen peroxide I will purchase another one for my solution against mealybugs because I will have next to my succulents I will keep this spray bottle and I will fill it like 70 something percent of pure alcohol and well the rest of it is water and also I will drop there a few drops of dishwasher soap because well these are the things that mealybugs don't like and also I could use pepper or peppermint oil and stuff like that because they don't like that also but they have like smells and I I know that the dishwasher soap and the alcohol has a smell too but it will just disappear but I fear that my succulents will have a peppery smell or something like that and I don't want that so I'm a bit afraid to try them out and also I don't want to fuss with them so I'm using pure alcohol and dishwasher soap against my mealybugs. Well yeah there is the thing that you have to dip a q-tip thingy into alcohol and brush off these mealybugs but if there is if there is a lot of them I don't bother with that honestly I don't do that I just spray them and stuff like that so that's what I'm doing with my mealybugs but right now I have a succulent which is really beautiful and I don't want it to be ruined is totally totally infested with mealybugs and I don't like the fact that it's so much infested so like I'm trying to remove the mealybugs I have a lot of things to do but I'm trying I already treated it twice I like soaked the plant with this solution and this is the plant with all the mealybugs happening there so that's not great I have right now the leaves start to fall off because of the mealybugs but still I have a lot of leaves on and also I removed quite a good amount of mealybugs from it but they came back because I wasn't like it wasn't a perfect job from my side I already did it twice but I'm sure I will do it like even more times so for this second it's really a battle and when I have time I treat it with this solution thingy so this is what's happening with this succulent and my millibag infestation and my annual millibag infestation but every year it's like a celebration for millibugs you know it's like a celebration yeah like holidays or something so when I have Christmas they are sad because I'm already treating them but before Christmas when I bring them inside bring my succulents inside they have this celebration and they can annually like infest anything everything and you know so my millibug society has a yearly holiday an annual holiday before Christmas you know I'm kind to mealybugs as well <laughs> I'm letting them celebrate no I don't let them but you know they do anyways and sometimes these mealybug thingies can ruin even the crowns of the what the succulents these rosette type succulents you will see that on this succulent I don't know the ID for this one it's just a Echeveria hybrid there might be some other genera in the uh, genes as well but I'm not sure about that I think it's like something Echeveria or maybe see them as well this one is started to outgrow that ruined crown this is the succulent which is like blooming for me like always last time it was in bloom for half in a year because it's constantly producing new flower spikes and new flowers are produced like always and right now there is a very ugly flower on it and there are three flower spikes on the way maybe one of them is a offset or maybe two I'm not sure but there are some things on the way and I can see some mealybug fluff things going on there so I have to treat this one as well but I will bring you closer and you will be able to see that the crown is like not symmetrical it's really ugly because it was infested with spider mites and the leaves didn't grow to their full size they didn't do to their full capacity so it's really it was ruined and it's really ugly so too much mealybug infestation on your plants is really not good so look at this I will tilt it a little bit so you can see that you see it's not perfect it's not symmetrical these leaves are re really just ruined they were 
totally totally ruined by spider mites and, and not spider mites I mean millibugs so millibugs can really ruin the crowns or succulents and there is one more aspect which I wanted to talk about today and this is well these tiny succulents and as I said I have the tinier succulents I have in little pots with little mm, jar lid thingies and this is just really a really 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 tiny succulent Actually, I propagated this through a leaf propagation process because I've seen a really beautiful succulent in a garden center, but it was big and really, really pricey for some reason. Succulents aren't that pricey, but that was really pricey, so I did not buy it, but I stole a leaf, a single leaf, and I never ever had too much success with leaf propagations. And I was like, maybe it's gonna grow, maybe not. This one definitely grew. I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five tiny rosettes in this pot, and they are growing nicely, so that's good. Look at that. I have here a lot of rosettes, and I cannot wait for them to grow to a bigger size, and they were growing slowly, but surely. And I'm showing you this one right now, because if this was ruined by millibugs, I'm sure it would be dead, because this is tiny, it, it doesn't have too much energy. And also, this one, since it's tiny, it's more weak, and it's not like it doesn't have a too extensive root system also so it's really hard to pick the dead leaves from this one as well so i'm leaving it alone i'm not picking the dead leaves or anything with that i'm just keeping an eye on it not to have spider uh, not to have mealybugs because if these uh, crowns these rosettes would be ruined i am sure that this plant would be ruined as well because you know this is tiny it doesn't have that much energy to fight them off oh uh, so yeah this is the topic about millibucks for today if you like this video click on the like button also you can uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below and oh and i have a video about millibugs and how to take care of them and stuff like that so if you're curious about that check out the link in the info card in the corner or down in the info box also you can leave a comment there, down there in the comment section below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to this also don't forget to click on the bell button notification thingy because you will get notifications every time I post well you can check out my other channel as well follow me on Instagram on my new account see you next time bye guys regularly while well, things are a pretty print to things are pretty